how do we build a block cipher, okay? And building ciphers is sometimes more an art, more, more a kunst than, than, a, than, than, a, than a science. More than a kunst as than a wissenschaft, okay? But what is very helpful is um, Claude Shannon, he was the, the, the inventor of information theory in the, in the um, late 40s. You're going to hear more about it. Does anyone know the, the name Claude Shannon? Shannon theory. Ah, very good, about half of the class. Um, so he's really important for you know, communication technology, information theory, but he also did some work on cryptography and in, I think it was 48, 49, he said, well, the details, how to build a block cipher is pretty difficult, you know, it's that's kind of the art part, but the two general principles, okay, the two principles, how to build a good block cipher, um, he defined two atomic operations, or basic, atomic is maybe a little bit too too ambitious. So some basic operations that each block cipher should perform, namely the first one is I, you know, or one or A or B or alpha. So the first is it's called confusion. And what wha what is confusion in this this is block cipher context? Confusion is um Relationship, relationship between plain and ciphertext is obscured or hidden. Okay. Example is a um, substitution table. Okay, what do I mean by substitution table? Typically, some you have some kind of in internal signal. This is a table here. You have a lookup table. And you have entries, numbers, you know, these are binary entries, they're zero and ones. And so what happens is you have some input, and every input picks a certain address here, you know, a certain row, certain silo, and then you output what you see there, okay? So it's a lookup table. It's all the, you know, the baby ciphers we did in the first two lectures, the Caesar cipher, the substitution cipher, these were purely confusion elements, right? You know, you replace the letter A by the letter D, right? You could, you could do that as, as, as a um, table with, you know, 26 entries, right? For a certain input, you get a certain output. It's a fancy word for that, a substitution table or lookup table, okay? So that's the first thing where, where Claude Chen said, well, that's a good idea, good thing to do if you want to build a strong cipher. But he said, this is not enough, which is not surprising to us because we know the Caesar cipher by itself is not strong. He said, you should need a different, you should also do something else, which is coined, which is called diffusion, diffusion. The influence of one or of each of each plain text bit is spread over many.
ciphertext bits, okay? Example for that is a um, permutation 